if you've ever wondered how to become a weight loss coach, well, you've come to the right video. I've got the answers for you, so keep watching. Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer, and by the way, I'm an actual weight loss coach, so I'm the best person to talk to about this. In this video, I'll talk about what it takes to become a weight loss coach. Then I'll reveal the number one best way to be successful as a weight loss coach. Finally, I'll tell you how to get started if you want to be a weight loss coach. So you're interested in becoming a weight loss coach. Let me tell you, it's not for the faint of heart. I have been in the health and fitness industry since 1994. I have seen it all, diets, fitness, fads, pills, gimmicks, you name it. I've also seen weight loss coaches from all different walks of life come and go. Being a successful weight loss coach is really rewarding, but it's also really hard. I've helped hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world lose weight, and here's what I can tell you. First of all, telling people they have to exercise to lose weight is absolute bullcrap. If you include fitness as a part of a weight loss program you develop, make sure you emphasize nutrition. Some people are too heavy and too sick to exercise, and telling them that they have to crushes their hope. Plus, people aren't going to get their weight off with exercise if their diet is crap. Next, if you want to be a weight loss coach, skip the gimmicks. The last thing this world needs is another bullcrap magic pill, a patch, or a powder. Magic pills, powders, and patches trick people into thinking there's a magic cure for their weight loss. There isn't a magic cure. If you want to lose weight and keep it off, you change your lifestyle. Leading people to believe they can reach long-term weight loss success with gimmicks is flat out wrong. Now, if you want to be an effective weight loss coach, here's the first thing you've got to do. Just labeling yourself a weight loss coach doesn't make you a weight loss coach. Get your weight off first and keep it off. Prove that you can walk the talk. Next, work with some people and help them get results. Prove you're a weight loss coach by getting results for yourself and for other people. You've also got to be prepared for the emotions that come with being a weight loss coach. It's not easy to watch people struggle to stay on track and know that you want it more than they do. You're going to have to mentally prepare yourself for the fact that you won't be able to help everyone. You can help some people, maybe even a lot of people, but some people you won't be able to help. Remember to focus on the people that you can help they'll be able to reach the people that you can't. There are a lot of weight loss coach opportunities out there, or you can create your own system. Either way, don't rip off someone else's exact plan. That's not cool, and people won't want to work with you if they find out. If you decide to coach with some mainstream way of eating, like high fat, get to know it inside and out. Pick something you legitimately believe in and have benefited from. You'll be more passionate about it that way. Remember that long-term weight loss success isn't only about the food. Food is only one piece of the puzzle. I know a little something about weight loss programs that include exercise. Look, I was a fat athlete and I thought the answer, like many of you probably think or thought, is exercise. So I was voted one of the top 10 best trainers in the state of New York in 2008 and featured in Allure magazine. I trained celebrities like Katie Couric and Ethan Hawke and Claire Danes. I was, I had my own show on MTV because I was a trainer. I was offered a job on The Biggest Loser to replace Jillian Michaels. So I get it. I used to be a trainer and I used to think the same bullcrap that maybe you thought or think now that exercise is the answer. I was training three to five hours a day and I was a fat athlete. So when my clients would come to me for weight loss, I would train the living crap out of them. Those poor people were, I just would beat them up in the gym and they weren't losing weight. They were getting fit. They were getting strong. They had a stronger back. They could run a mile and not get tired, but they weren't losing weight. That's because I didn't address the nutrition component. You are really doing your clients a disservice if you just focus on that. Now, maybe the client is coming to you and they're like, all I want from you is, is a workout. And that's fine. That's not a weight loss coach. If you are a personal trainer or you are an exercise physiologist or you are a, a physical therapist, and people are coming to you for that specific reason, that is fine. Just stay in your lane, train that person and fine, but do not call yourself a weight loss coach. 
and then all you teach them is exercise. You realize how long it's gonna take them to get that weight off if they do it just through exercise? I burned 400 calories during a three mile run, which I do almost every single morning with my two very high energy dogs. So you're saying if a pound of fat is roughly 3,500 calories, which it is, I would have to do about nine runs to burn one pound of fat? Your client and even me, we're gonna blow out a knee before we even make a dent in a weight loss. I burned 3,500 calories hiking rim to rim of the Grand Canyon. It's 24 miles, 6,000 feet of climbing. And I burned 3,500 calories. So you got a client that comes to you for your program and they've got to lose 100 pounds. They've got to go hike rim to rim 100 times. Look, I'm in great shape and I was trashed after that. This is not a way to address someone's weight loss program. So don't call yourself a weight loss coach and then only have them just bust their butt in the gym. It is wrong, it is not gonna work, and they're not gonna keep coming to you if they're not seeing results, and they're not gonna see results. And then we've got these multi-level marketing companies like Beachbody. They have this program that all you gotta do is once you buy their shakes and you automatically become a coach. Are you serious? That is absolutely absurd that someone would just qualify to be an expert just because they are consuming the product. I have seen a lot of fat beach body coach. I'm sorry if that is offensive to you, but I am calling it like I see it. I have seen a lot of fat coaches and that is absolutely not okay. If it ain't working for you, why should Karen buy your product? You have got to be a product of your product. And I see this all the time and yet people are still doing it. Why isn't that consumer stopping and saying, wait a minute, you want me to buy this hundreds of dollars a month, you know, even $150 a month, I think is the lowest level of beach body shakes. And then you can work up from there. You want me to buy all these shakes and then this is going to work. And I'm looking at you. It's not even working. You're 60 pounds overweight. Does that make any sense to you? No, it does not. So do not call yourself a weight loss coach. If you are not walking the talk before I go any further and I need it, I need to calm down a little bit. You can see I'm pretty worked up here. I would love to read your comments. So comment below and tell me what has been your experience. This is going to be so much fun to read. This is going to be fun to read. What has been your experience with a weight loss coach? I can't wait to read this. Comment below, give me some good stories. So if you're planning on being a weight loss coach, you need to understand that a lot of the people with a weight problem that come to you for help, I mean, not all, but a lot, have been abused in some way. Even if they haven't, there's usually a lot of emotional baggage that comes with a weight problem. Be prepared to handle that when it comes up with your clients. It may not be something you're qualified to help them with, so support them, but stay in your own lane. Look at people or resources you can send them to so they can get the help they need if it's outside your wheelhouse. I want to say this again. The most powerful thing you can do as a weight loss coach is be an example of what's possible. If you can't even transform yourself, why would anyone believe that you can help them walk your talk? There's a lot of people saying a lot of stuff, but not walking their talk which is why actions speak a lot louder than words. Wanting to help people lose weight and feel better about themselves is a noble goal. But to be really good at it, you've got to be a product of your product. Being a weight loss coach is a lot harder than it looks. Who knows, I mean, you might be great at it, but just know it's not easy. On my program, The Code Red Lifestyle, my coaches have all mastered my program. I want people walking the talk. If you haven't lost your weight and kept it off yet, and you want to be a weight loss coach, you is where you start. If you think you've got what it takes, start getting your own weight off with my 30 day, 10 pound takedown challenge. You can lose at least 10 pounds in 30 days and learn a lot of stuff, but don't rip off my program. I'll sue you. <laughs> I've linked it up below. Check out the next program and I'll see you on the next challenge.